I've decided to stay on board until we reach the Valkyrian Isles, where Steven rules. I think I can live much better in human lands. I'll need these to get started. You understand, I'm sure.
Now what do you want? Did you notice that the gods have left? I did hear some yelling and stomping, but I just screamed for those stone heads to keep it down. Is that what the commotion was all about? Well, good riddance, I say. They were a no good bunch of charlatans anyway. You agreed that once the gods were gone and the pipes were fixed, you'd answer my questions. That was ideal, I suppose. And since you did fix the Kixie Winsy, I guess I could spin a tale or two with you. What was it you wanted to know? How old are you really? Old enough to recognize a smart ass question when I hear one. What is it that the Kixie Winsy does exactly? Sonny, nobody knows exactly why the Kixie Winsy was created. The man just built it long ago, even before my time. According to the legends, the Mangers intended the Kixie Winty to take care of everyone, of all races in all realms. And before you ask, I don't have any idea what that means. Can you tell me about the Mangers? The Mangers created the Kixie Winty. The dwarves worshipped them before the gods showed up. Some say that the Mangers would have been with us still, but something happened. Come close. I found a chamber that contained a statue of a manja. It was surrounded by crystal blocks with big people in them, much like yourself. I tried but couldn't open the blocks. I think those people inside, they were manjas. I'm looking for a piece of the world seal. It's a hexagonal piece of metal with a symbol etched onto it. I thought you might know where I could find it. Hmm, I don't remember any world seal. The only thing that comes close was a big statue I found years back in a chamber in one of the old tunnels. Carved into the base of the statue was a symbol framed by a hexagon. Something like the one you described. Where was this chamber located? I found it when I was tracing a mineral vein that the Kixie Winsy was mining. But since the Kixie Winsy filled up the tunnel leading to it, I've forgotten precisely where it was located. If I had one of the old maps, I might be able to locate it, but I doubt such a map even exists anymore. Well, if such a map did exist, where would I find it? Hmm, that's a tough one. I suppose you might find one wherever you'd find any of the ancient documents, but nobody reads them anymore. The map could be anywhere, or it could have been destroyed. Those papers were pretty darn old. That's all. Thanks for the help. Yes, sure. Yes, yes, that's very nice. Hey, this is a geological survey map of the entire continent. Let me look at it. Here, here's where I discovered that statue with the symbol. It was in this vein of iron ore. I remember that vein clearly. I saved a lump of the ore somewhere. Look closely at the grain. That vein was one of the best.
Welcome back, my son. I see you've been successful. You have Arianus' seal piece. Congratulations. Now, please give me a report. The only Sartan you find are long dead. I wonder if someone has stolen our vengeance from us, or if their consciences did them in. I will have to consider this new information. Now, was there anything else before you use your newfound book to go on to Priam, Realm of Fire? You know, Arianus was not a prison. The Mensch weren't slaves. Most of their problems were of their own making. Perhaps the Sartan knew what they were doing? <sighs> My son, of course, it may appear to be that way. Naturally, the Mensch weren't rebelling against the Sartan. According to your own report, the Sartan there are dead. Believe me, if the Sartan had been alive, they would have been grinding the Mensch under their heels. We are doing them a favor by removing the Sartan threat forever, or confirming its absence, and finally taking over the reins of their lives. The Sartan were right about one thing. The Mensch do need guidance. They're like children. Listen to your own report. Their squabbles are almost laughable. When we finally bring the world together, we shall give them the leadership that they so sorely need. What do you suppose killed the Sartan? They all looked fairly young. I'm not sure. Perhaps a plague. Although I've never heard of a plague so selective that it wipes out an entire race and leaves others untouched. I don't think we have enough information yet. Hopefully you will learn more in your travels. Can you tell me anything about your research? The book I'm reading now is titled The History of the Sundering. Not only is it woefully inadequate, but it was improperly stored, and moisture has damaged many of the pages. The book discusses the six Sartan responsible for the plan. Sama, Dimitri, Orsef, Lornoy, Tyler, and Weyleth. 
each created a specific spell, and for reasons I won't go into, it is vital that I learn which spell each Sartan created. The book did have that information once, but the water destroyed it. So I've been forced to do quite a bit of research on each person. I've divined much about their personalities from other texts. I'm hoping that this will tell me what kind of spell they would be likely to create. I've become very familiar with each of them, and I've named them the Six Devils. Each is a devil in a unique way. Tell me about Sama. I call Sama the Devil of the Soul. He was insidious. Although the Sartan Council was theoretically democratic, Sama could talk them into anything. In fact, there was much dissension on the Council when the plan was discussed. Many felt that it was too extreme, but Sama thundered right through the contrary arguments. The rest is history. What did you learn about Dimitri? I know Dimitri as the Devil of the Hand. He was very skilled at a variety of arts and was a talented musician. It's said that his interests were very diverse, and he resented the time he was forced to spend on the council. Who is Orsef? Orsef is the devil of the heart. It is closest to the soul, and in truth, Orsef was Sama's closest advisor. He spent much time among the Mensch, studying them. The Mensch fascinated Orsef for some reason. It was he who was placed in charge of overseeing the transportation of the Mensch into the Four Realms. Can you tell me about Lornoy? I call Lornoy the Devil of the Eye. He was one of the few that saw the many problems with the plan. He was the leader of the pitiful opposition. I guess it shows how pitiful indeed the opposition was, that Lornoy was one of the instrumental participants in the plan. Sama must have talked swiftly to convince him. Tell me about Tyler. Tyler is the devil of the mind. He was the youngest and quickest of all six Sartan. If not for him, the plan might never have occurred. Although he was very ambitious, he wasn't nearly the politician that Sama was. Sama used him, as he used everyone to further his own plans. Who is this Waylith? I refer to Waylith as the devil of the tongue. Sama knew that Waylith was a skilled speaker and well-liked, perhaps almost as good a politician as he. He kept Waylith from the council for that very reason, and was fortunate that Waylith had no political aspirations. Otherwise, he might have had a fight on his hands. Can I take a look at that book? I'm afraid not. It's so damaged now that I have to keep special care of it. I never move it from this desk, and I turn the pages only with reluctance. I'm sorry. Let's go back to some other topic. Of course. What do you want to know? Can we talk about some of the subjects you touched on earlier? Of course. What do you want to know? Let's go back to some other topic. Of course. What do you want to know? That's enough for right now. I'd like to talk to you later if you don't mind. Very well. I'll be here. That's nice, Haplo, but I don't have the time to look at everything you bring back. I must continue my research. Please return when you're ready to report. This book explains very little about the actual workings of this Kixie Winsy. Obviously, they intended it for Mensch hands, and the less information given to them, the better. Very good, Haplo. Not only does this book have the naming rune of Priyan printed on the cover, but the text gives a lot of insight into the realm itself. That's very amusing. The spell on its back is more interesting, though. 